Well, I argue with myself because JP... With yourself? Yeah, yeah, he refuses to argue with me. He will literally not entertain it. So in the end, I just don't bother. So I can be upset with him as much as I like. He that just... drives me crazy. It is, <laughs> but it diffuses the situation because I'm quite a fiery person. And I think if you have two fiery people together, it's a recipe for fireworks, isn't it? So he's good for me in that way. What would you do, um, though, if you saw a friend's relationship either disintegrating or you saw something that you didn't like the look of or, you know, maybe a bit of controlling behaviour or that you knew something about their other half that they didn't know that you thought they should... Would you tell them? Yes, I've done it. Um, one of my friends was getting cheated on and I told her that her partner was cheating on her. Um, I just put myself in her situation. I thought if that was me, I'd want to know and I couldn't have my friends knowing something like that with, and me not knowing. And how did she respond? Uh, well, we fell out and we never spoke again. No, see, that's the problem. But I'd do I it again. I'd, do, I'd want to do it. But I think I'd, end, I'd probably send an anonymous letter <laughs> or something. Really? <laughs> well, I'd want her to know, but I, there is that, you know, the messenger gets yeah, shot. Always. There's some comments in on this, actually, because uh, John says here, yes, a real friend would always have your back and would want you to be safe and happy, but it's still their decision if they choose not to take your advice and you'll, supp and you'll support them anyway. So, quite a few tweets on yeah. that. And, and we, we asked you at home as well, uh, would you tell a friend to leave their partner? 65% said yes. You would say something. Didn't say whether it was anonymously or not, mm -hmm. whether it was... Oh, that's a, a good idea, doing yeah. it anonymously. Okay. Oh,